second day in the Smokies and I'm starting out kind of slow. Sometimes the first mile is just kind of hard, but um, I ended up after being so worried about splitting up from the group and everything, I ended up still having friends at the campsite. So that was great. Um, Crabman was there and Crinkles, um, Jester and Luna. So we were all hanging out around a campfire, but I did kind of have some, oh my gosh, my hair's out of control. I did kind of have, you know, some rest time in my tent and just kind of wanted to chill uh, by myself and kind of get my head straight. Um, and then I went to bed really early, like an hour before the sunset. I was like, why is the sun still shining? But it doesn't set until like 8.30 now. So, um, but yeah, I started out today. I'm going to try to either get 8.5 miles in or 11.5, just depending on, you know, how I feel. Uh, maybe around midday, but um, so far so good. I've just been really t thinking about, you know, I'm kind of been struggling a little bit physically, uh, maybe more than I even expected. So that's one reason why I've been doing lower miles. I think I talked about it yesterday, but um, yeah, it's really my legs are getting very strong, but cardiovascular, like I'm still pretty out of breath when I go uphill. Um, so, you know, I don't want to overdo it, but also I want to keep going. So, um, push myself a little bit, but maybe not crazy amount. So the big miles will come. I keep telling myself after the Smokies, the big miles will come. Take it easy. Um, but yeah, this has been the hardest thing I've ever done. Hands down done some hard things in life, including the world race. This is way harder. <laughs> I've never had to push myself physically like this before. So yeah, it's a nice day for hiking. Um, it's kind of overcast, which is nice, a little chilly. Um, and I think that the possibility for rain. Oh, last night. So Crinkle showed me a way to use my quilt. I was using it wrong. I was putting like the quilt sides of the quilt under my sleeping pad. And she's like, no, no, no. Um, she showed me a way that I could put my quilt to where it just wraps around me, not the pad. And I did sleep a lot warmer and I had a hot hand too and everything. So, um, I got probably, I don't know, decent sleep and hopefully I complete today's hike and feel great all day. Oh, I forgot to add that Crinkle saw a bear yesterday, like a huge bear. 400 pounds or so, um, about a mile away from our campsite. And it must have just been like 30 minutes after a hike through there. So it's kind of scary. And then last night, Jester said he heard a bear walking around the campsite. And I heard it too. I thought somebody was up looking for a place to use the bathroom, but I heard it, something moving pretty fast around the campsite. Apparently it might have been a bear. So, I mean, they're out here. One of the shelters, Cosby Knob, is closed because a bear actually tore up a tent to get to a food bag. And um, the notification from the park said, bears are out and they're hungry. So, you know, I'd like to see a bear, but I don't want to get that close to it. <laughs> got to the top of this little mountain and it is like a magical mystery forest. It literally feels like we're in a storybook right now. There's little tiny flowers in the ground. It's so beautiful. It's just whimsical. Look how beautiful it is. I love this. I know, it's so whimsical. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, you're like a movie star right now, Jester. So tiny. Strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace.
So we had like a 20% chance of rain, I think, or something low. And I was like, oh, it won't it rain? Um, it is snowing. <laughs> like, I'm not sure if these are snow pellets, but they're like bouncing off the ground. Um, and the temperature right before it started, the temperature dropped drastically. Like, what's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh, the Smokies are real. The real deal. This stretch of trail, I hike from Birch Creek Campsite to Russell Field Shelter, which is a stretch of 8.5 miles. So, it's been a really great day, but I had to stop because... <sighs> Um, I've been having this issue like in the afternoon where it's like my blood sugar drops out or something and I just have no energy. <sighs> and, um, it started to happen today at like 11. <laughs> what like my body feels like my legs feel strong it's just like i don't know I'm just dizzy and like the light hit it and so i feel like a really hard time hiking so i don't know like what's happening to my body or like why it's doing this but i just ate like a kind mini and a cliff bar mini and honey stinger and and like part of this other bar that had almonds in it. And I still just like, well, Disney and I have no energy, so I don't know if I need to stop at the next shelter or what, but it's just like the suckiest feeling. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better. I have a little over half a mile to get to the shelter where I was gonna eat lunch. So I'm just gonna get there, get some food, and see how I feel. I think it's three miles after that to the shelter I was trying to stay in tonight. So just reassess the situation. So I'm almost to the first shelter. I was gonna have my lunch and I was thinking about having a bailout out spot there just in case I need it. And this guy I just passed was like, where are you staying? And I was like, I don't know, they're Molly's or Molly's Ridge or um, Russell Field. And he was like, highly recommend not staying at Molly's Ridge. There was a bear last night going tent to tent. So just can't win. <laughs> But I'll figure out when I get there if I want to risk a bear or not. There it is, right through the trees, Molly's Ridge shelter. Oh, I feel like I worked for this one. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad to see it. Okay, here's the cutie shelter. Need water? Jester is helping me with water. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I've been in Niagara. I rode on the Maid of the Mist. <gasps> uh, have you ever watched Lost? No. Mm -hmm. They talk at one point in Lost about how it was Um and It's spooky to me. Okay, I am leaving the shelter. I'm feeling so much better. I had like a chicken packet on a tortilla. <laughs> and I think it was what I need, so feeling a lot better. Ready to knock out this three miles to the next shelter. <laughs> they say the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. For me, this is that step. This is the moment that changed my whole hike. This was the moment I truly met someone who would become a best friend. Meet Gushers. Yeah, I guess we got the birds up in the tree. 
First step in a journey of a thousand miles together. Yeah, don't felony. Anything less than the best is a felony. Love it. I'll leave it. You bet I can't wait. Better hit bullseye the kid. Don't play. Turn off the lights and I go. Up. If you've been watching my channel, you probably noticed that I never go anywhere without my Garmin Enreach Mini. It is such a great piece of equipment and luckily I only had to use it when I didn't have cell phone reception to text my parents and let them know that I was okay. It gave me so much peace of mind to know that if I ever had an emergency, the SOS button was right there on my shoulder. I would highly recommend Garmin not only for long distance hikes, but also for day hikes or really any adventure. You can purchase a Garmin at REI or Amazon, and I've posted links for both in the description below. So I made it to the shelter and I actually felt a lot better. Um... After I left the last shelter, I started hiking with Jester and we were like singing silly songs. And then we met up with Lucky and we were hiking with the two of them. And I just, it was faster than I normally go, but I just wanted to keep their pace so that I could get to the shelter fast. And we're the first ones here. So we got our pick of the litter and where to sleep. The shelters here are amazing. And as I settled in for the night, more new friends awaited me tomorrow. Coming up, we're about to climb Rocky Top. This is Living Man. And I just walked a mile in the opposite direction. I found, it's my dad. I thought they were lost. <laughs> it's all coming up in the next video. In the light